Hello Gemini, welcome to Monarch Intuition, and today I'm going to be doing your December 2022 monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with a different deck. So what do we need to know for the sign of Gemini? What's going on for you? We have the Emperor. So some sort of divine authority figure right here. This can also be represented as a boss, a CEO of a company, but it can be represented by Aries energy, so the god of war. Now this person is not generally a tyrant, but someone who is very authoritarian. Someone who knows that you have to wage war sometimes to get what you want, right? And he's okay with doing that. He understands that everything in his kingdom has to function kind of like clockwork. He doesn't really have time to pity people and take their emotions into consideration. He works off of logic and what he believes to be right. So with this emperor energy, you could be dealing with like an emperor within your life or you could be having this energy and it could be turning other people off. However, sometimes you just have to take charge and take the reins of something and say, I'm going to do it. Everyone follow me. So what's going on with this emperor energy? What do we need to know? I'm going to be using the Revelations Tarot. This deck does have reversals in it. One of these days I will shuffle properly. shuffles. Okay. What do we need to know about this emperor? You have the ten of pentacles upright, the death card in reversed, and you have the six of wands upright. So, the ten of pentacles represents, you know, having a kingdom being surrounded by things that you truly desire and truly enjoy. The death card does say that something is coming back within your life. Something that you thought has been, or something that you thought was over is now re-emerging. Okay, so it's kind of like Phoenix energy because it's in reverse. So something that you thought was gone is now coming back. And here's the six of wands to say it's going to be victorious this time. So something that may have not worked out for you in the past and you said, okay, that's dead. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. I'm going to move on with my life. It's re-emerging with some sort of great victory and it's going to be displayed within your life right here. So what is going on? What do we need to know? I'm going to be using the Wild Unknown Tarot. I've been practicing with this deck for a little while now. I feel confident in using it. So what's going on with this Ten of Pentacles? What do we need to know? We have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Just understand that you do have people looking at what you have right here, okay? Always be vigilant with your money. Don't tell people how much money you have. Don't tell people how much money you make. I feel like you're doing really good for yourself. But if something really good happens for you, don't go and brag about it, okay? People are eyeing the things that you have. And you might not think that you have a lot of stuff. But maybe you have nice quality things within your life and people will say, well, I want that, right? And you know, rich people do that too. Rich people will steal, you, steal from you, rob from you blind, right? So what's going on with this death energy? What do we need to know right here? You have the Son of Cups and the Justice energy. So I do feel like you're getting some sort of divine justice right here with this Son of Cups. Justice is coming towards you. I feel like it's in a really good way. With this justice energy, it's saying that this is right, this is just, and it's coming in a more playful manner because that's what the Knight of Cups is. He's a poet, he's a singer, he's a songwriter, you know, just coming, marching along, carrying his cup, having a grand old time, bringing justice to a situation which brings the Six of Wands. So what is going on with the Six of Wands energy? Ten of Wands with the Tower. Yeah, this is definitely something that, you know, was kind of a painful ending for you. It was very painful with the Ten of Wands. You're saying, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. You may have walked away from something. You may have said, I'm absolutely done. I'm not carrying these Ten Wands anymore. To hell with that tower, right? But here's the thing. You're going to have some sort of grand revelation that something is not quite over. And it's coming back up in a more playful manner to give you victory but you're looking at it still from this Ten of Wands tower perspective as you don't trust it because now things are going good for you and all of a sudden this Seven of Swords is coming back and you're thinking, they destroyed me in the past 
or this situation destroyed me in the past. And I'm not talking about an ex. This doesn't have to be an ex-lover. It doesn't have to be, you know, an ex-spouse or an ex-job. It could be an ex-friend, person, entity, whatever. They're coming back, seeing what you're building for yourself and saying, hey, I really like that. But you're overcoming something as well. You're overcoming the situation from your past. You're building it up. You're having a great time, it looks like. Maybe not a great, amazing time, but you have the nice things in your life. And you're going to receive some sort of justice for whatever this was, but you don't trust it. The Hierophant coming out, so justice from a job right here. Because remember, the Emperor and the Hierophant are very synonymous with one another. The Emperor is the Pope, right? And the Pope is a religious advisor to the Emperor. The Pope does have the keys to a situation and can lock, unlock everything. It's also connected to God because it's represented by the number five, so the pentacle itself. Light, water, air, earth, and fire. So if we go in order on the zodiac wheel, Aries is fire, which sits on this point right here. Aries is fire, Taurus is earth, Gemini is air, Cancer is water, and Leo sits at the top representing the fifth element, right? Connecting to light, connecting to that soul energy. So someone is connected to the top of something right here and is wanting to see some sort of victory play out because they see that you are doing very well for yourself. They see that this has happened. And this could be some sort of apology, but you don't trust it. You're very on guard. You have the three of wands. I kind of feel like you know it's coming in the Two of Pentacles, but it's here to balance out something that was unjust within the past. And it doesn't have to be, you know, they want to be your best friend and come back into your life. This could just be some sort of, hey, I was wrong. Could you please accept this apology? Here is victory. Exchange of paperwork, exchange of, you know, money, whatever. What else is going on for Gemini? Who is this emperor? The sun and the Eight of Wands. So here's the thing. Remember how I said Leo sits at the top because it's connected to light? Well, you have the card of Leo coming out, one of the cards, the Sun energy. And you have one of the cards of Sagittarius coming out saying that the Sun is striking something down. What you have to understand is that within the Tower energy in the original deck, the Sun is being carried by a cherub and there's a face within the Sun and the sunlight is striking the Tower of Babel down. Because God said you cannot build a tower to reach heaven. And if you're going to try, I'm going to destroy it. And I'm going to change all the religions and scatter the people around the world. That's what you're not seeing right here. Is that there is a tower moment coming. But I kind of feel like, in a way, the emperor is causing this. So and it, it almost feels like divine intervention. Because when I see the emperor with the sunlight energy, it represents supreme authority. And supreme authority is God, right? So Supreme Authority is coming in to strike down a situation that was very burdensome for you, and that is your justice. But why is it coming back up within your life? The Five of Cups, because you keep looking at it, you can't let it go. And so I kind of feel like the Emperor needs you to move forward, or something within your life needs you to move forward, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, God... You're looking back at something saying, gosh, why did it have to end that way? And the emperor is here to illuminate to you what's going on. So that way you can turn around, take your two cups and say, peace, I'm out. I understand why. Move forward with my life. The four of wands representing you can celebrate with your two cups. You need closure on something. And I'm not going to blame you for that. You need closure in a lot of things. And... When closure is offered to you, be very grateful because there are a lot of things where people don't receive closure. I feel like the reason that you are receiving closure right here is because you cannot move on from a situation until you receive something. What is this Seven of Swords? Why are you skeptical about it? What's going on with this? You have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So... You have a new opportunity, but I kind of feel like in a way you're on guard because you feel like someone is just trying to take it away from you. And I feel like in a way with this Four of Swords is you're saying, well, 
if you're going to try to take it away from me, I'm going to fight this tooth and nail because I got a sword underneath the bed. And that's what the Four of Swords is saying right here is that you have the Three of Swords that have pierced your heart, which could be that Ten of Wands with that tower energy, but you still have that one sword that is your Ace Sword underneath saying, I can counterattack this Five of Swords if I have to. So that's why you're on guard because you feel like they're coming in with this Five of Swords to, you know, take you down and you're saying, uh-uh, I got something for that. You got the whole remedy for that. But I don't think that's what the situation is. I think it's just to provide closure. So how is this going to play out? How is this going to come in for you, Gemini? We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Mother of Pentacles. I feel like it reflects within your daily life. I feel like you can't move forward with this Eight of Swords. You feel trapped. So you're not making really much progress right here. So people know that you're very good at something and they want to see you excel. But they know that you're not going to excel because you keep thinking about something from your past. That is why the Mother of Pentacles is coming in to change something for you. So divine intervention is being offered to you. The Father of Pentacles with the Fool energy. Yeah. Someone wants to have a restart with you. I'm, once again, I'm not saying that you're going to go back to this old situation, but it is going to end and you will have a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning, because I feel like you have a very important mission to accomplish on this earth, but people who have suffered really traumatic events because a tower with the uh, Ten of Wands does represent a very traumatic event happening, they can't move on until they receive what they need to move forward, right? whether it be therapy, whether it be money, whether it be, you know, just emotional support. And that's what's being offered to you. Now, I feel like you've moved on from the situation. You said, okay, well, I have to pick up the pieces and I have to learn how to deal with it myself. But in the end, you still can't move on. You're still in the Five of Cups. You're still in the Eight of Swords energy. So divine intervention with the Son and the Emperor, the Father of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles coming in. So very authoritarian people, very steady, stable energy. The Three of Swords. Because it's reflecting in everything that you do with the Three of Pentacles. Your work, your daily life is being affected. Just everything, you're, you're just not happy. And I don't think that you're ever going to find that happiness, that spark that you had prior until this gets cleared up. The Sun of Pentacles coming out because you're holding on to a burden right here. And the Ace of Swords. You're holding on to a burden and you're saying, I'm not going to move forward. I'm going to pretend my life is okay. I can't move on from this situation. If someone ever comes back and tries to strike me, just know that I have this sword, this Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands to strike back. It is affecting your daily life, right? But the closure is being offered to you. It's coming about in a very mundane fashion. It's coming about in a very slow fashion. Clarify the Six of Wands, the Son of Swords coming out with the Father of Swords and the Daughter of Swords. Wow. So information is coming towards you. You are receiving maybe like a package, a letter, an apology letter, but it is coming through the air. It's coming through mail, it looks like. A phone call as well. Maybe you're going to be receiving a phone call about this situation from the past. You have the Father of Swords, which kind of represents like a judge or someone of really high authority. The Son of Swords is sending out a message. The Daughter of Swords is you're receiving this message. You're receiving this Ace of Swords, but you kind of don't know what to do with it. So someone is going to offer you guidance on how to use this sword to your advantage. 
the Daughter of Wands coming out with the Ten of Cups. Someone wants to try to make you happy right here. Someone is trying to come in to send you something so that way you can have a new beginning with the Daughter of Wands. So you have the Daughter of Swords, the Daughter of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands coming out. So very masculine energies that are going to make you happy with the Ten of Cups. So it is coming in slowly though, but the closure is happening. The Justice, Son of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, it's growing. It's just taking a long time to mature. The Temperance and Divine Timing, it will alchemize, but in the meantime, you're still suffering with the anxiety. The Empress with the Ten of Swords. Here's the thing, though. The Empress represents a new beginning, a more fertile, abundant beginning. The Ten of Swords does represent the ending, okay? Now, the ending of the old situation is coming to pass. I'm not saying that the Ten of Swords is over the Empress because the Empress came out first. What it is is saying... This world, you're going to receive something that's going to make you, I'm not going to say emotionally, amazingly happy, okay? You're going to receive something practical. You're going to receive the Empress. You're going to receive justice for whatever this was. But you're still going to deal with the Ten of Swords throughout your life, all right? It's a bittersweet ending. So I'm not going to say that this is going to change your life, but the closure will be there for you whenever you need it. It's coming in for you. I kind of feel like, you know, it's coming in through mail. Someone is going to send you a letter. Someone is going to reach out to you, want to talk to you because it is affecting you. But here's the problem. Even after you receive this information, I kind of feel like it puts you back through the old situation. It puts you back kind of like through that traumatic event. And maybe you don't even realize how bad it was. Okay. But now that you know that it's over... You can move forward, but once again, it's still bittersweet. You're like, wow, I really went through all of that. But you do have the closure. You're still going to think about it throughout your life, though, okay? But it is going to clear up. The sunlight is there to show you you will be happy, even if it's for a brief moment. Even if it's for just the Ten of Cups moment with the sunlight moment, because the Ten of Cups is kind of like an orgasm, right? doesn't last forever but it does make you happy because it's done but after it's over you're just like okay the PNC uh, clicks in again you're still looking at it but it's like how does it how's that saying go it's like don't cry because it ended smile because it happened that's what this is the Seven of Cups with the star. I feel like you are receiving some sort of shooting star wish right here. Just keep paying attention to the angel within the cup. Don't go after anything else right now. Allow the star or the angel to come to you. Remember, the temperance angel sits inside of the seventh cup. It sits inside of the cup that uh, stands apart from the other six, okay? Keep your eye on that angel. Keep your eye on the divine. Keep saying and trusting in this that it will come to an end. What do you have to do for this to come to an end? The Mother of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like what you need to do is you just need to sit still. You kind of need in a way to keep your mask on. Even if it is really bothering you, just keep smiling. Keep pushing through. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Keep focusing on your work. Keep trying to grow something. But keep praying in the meantime. It's almost like move in silence. Pray in silence. Now, if it gets really bad, obviously reach out and ask someone for help. But if it's like, you know, you're keeping it in the back of your mind, but it's still there, just pray about it. Keep moving forward. Do what you're doing. It will balance itself out. So what is going on with the Witch's Familiars energy? It's a really good reading for you because not only are you getting the help from the Emperor Divine Authority, you're getting help from the Sun Emperor, which is God. You're getting help from the Angel. 
of temperance. It is bittersweet, though. You have fly, dis-ease, disease, fox, cunning. I feel like, in a way, this is a very messy situation, okay? This is something that you're going to have to, in a way, use your cunning energy, or maybe you had to use cunning energy in the past to get out of it. And going back and revisiting this situation and looking back on the situation, it's just like this very gross, grimy thing, okay? And it causes a lot of discomfort for you and possibly other people who are having to deal with it. But just know that the discomfort, this dis-ease, disease energy, is how you're going to move forward, all right? One card for that, the world. Yeah, it'll come to completion. It'll be over. One card for the fox cunning, the moon. Yeah, use that moonlight energy. Mysterious like the dark side of the moon, right? That cunning, crafty, don't give too much information about yourself away. Let them make the apology. Let them make the closure for you. Keep working. Keep going forward. You have midnight, the most magical hour of all, and death. The eternal cycle begins here. When the struck when the struck when the clock strikes 12 it resets right that's what this death energy is it's you're waiting for the cry the cry i cannot say clock tonight the clock to strike 12 okay because this old situation that has passed it's like the dawn of a new day all right it's still a day though so you have yesterday today and tomorrow so you've gone through this situation in the past but it's recurring again because it's coming in like clockwork. It's still another day, all right? It still has to be cleared up. And it's the eternal cycle. So let's look at your witches, or not witches familiar, what are these? Uh, Awaken Oracle cards. You have Untwist and Brilliance. This situation is going to untwist. I kind of feel like in a way you're going to see your own brilliance shine. Or maybe other people are going to see your own brilliance. Maybe they do see your brilliance and that's why they want to come and talk to you. Maybe it's because you are deserving of this. And it could also be that, you know, you're just not letting your mask fall off. Yeah, something is bothering you. But you're allowing the situation to untwist by itself. And that is the brilliance behind it, is that you are still pretending and making something work for you. And I feel like maybe you're doing a completely different thing, right? Maybe this is an old ex-relationship, an old job situation, you know, just something that didn't work out for you. Maybe it was a justice situation, and now you're finally doing well for yourself. You're doing okay. It still peaks up. It still makes you sad. It still makes you cry sometimes, you know. But here's the closure. But once it does come in, once the closure comes in, you're going to say, wow, that was a lot worse than what I thought it was. You're going to have to relive it. But still be cunning, still be clever, and still see how smart you were in this situation, okay? Now let's look at your um, rune card. You have tehwas, authority, justice, passion, drive, victory, the greater good and righteousness are the spiritual meanings. So justice came out, passion, drive, and victory. You will have victory. You have the sunlight coming out. You have the star coming out. You have the ten of cups right here. It's for the greater good, okay? There was a greater good situation that had to happen. Maybe you had to take the blame for something. Maybe treated, people treated you unfairly within a situation, but that was the righteousness, you know? In a way, self-sacrifice, right, with the hanged man. Burkana, encourage ideas, aid creative endeavors, nurture a project, and help with family. Now, let me get you your spellcasting oracle cards. You have animals, and you have financial health. So pay attention to animals right here. Pay attention to the omens. If you see a fox, if you see a fly, if you see something that, you know, is just out of the ordinary for where you are, 
pay attention to that and look at the meaning behind it. The financial health, I kind of feel like this is in like a financial sector, an old job, an old situation. Maybe people are saying, hey, you know, we lost that Gemini. We need that Gemini to come back or, you know, that Gemini really does deserve a good letter of recommendation, something like that. It's going to help your career. It's going to help move you forward. You learn something from the past, okay? Take it with you into the future. Take that harsh lesson into the future. And maybe the harsh lesson is that you just have to learn how to trust God, okay? You just have to learn how to trust that things will untwist by themselves. And sometimes not interjecting and forcing a situation because that can be very hard as you want to take control and force something to work. And maybe you've tried to force it in the past and it just hasn't. So now you're saying, all right, well, I'm just going to let it untwist naturally, do my own thing, complete my own work. And then that's when you have that breakthrough. Okay, Gemini, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you later.